welcome back to the Great Nutrition Business Podcast. At Healthy Steps Nutrition, we believe something as fundamental as nutrition shouldn't be complicated, which is why we focus on a simple habit-based approach. We know that helping your clients become the best and healthiest versions of themselves isn't just about what they eat or coming to the gym a few hours a week. We as gym owners and coaches have to focus on a holistic approach, looking at support systems, stress management, sleep, mindset, lifestyle, and of course, exercise and nutrition. I'm your host, Nicole Coyne, registered dietitian and founder of Healthy Steps Nutrition, CrossFit HSN, and HSN Mentoring. I'm also the author of The Basics of Nutrition Coaching, CrossFit Preferred Nutrition Course. In this podcast, I'm going to teach you how to make one step at a time to becoming the best nutrition coach and building an awesome habit-based coaching program. In this podcast, we are going to talk about how to increase your confidence as a leader or a coach, maybe a leader and a coach. I'm going to talk to you about some personal examples that I've had to walk through myself and what I've seen work really well. I've also hired quite a bit of different mentors that specialize in leadership and becoming a confident leader. So I'm hopeful to share some really great insight for you in this episode. We'll get to this episode right after this message. In just less than two months, we are hosting the Gym Accelerator Summit. It is a live event for gym owners and coaches looking to bridge the gap between what's happening inside of your gym and providing a house of wellness, prioritizing nutrition, mental health, fitness, and of course, accountability to help our clients see better results, which will increase retention and of course, add a revenue stream. This live event is open for any gym owners, managers, coaches, nutrition coaches, and aspiring nutrition coaches. It's going to be held in Nashville, Tennessee, July 13th to the 15th. You can expect main sessions and breakout sessions that are small groups led by expert mentors to give you real-time feedback and leave with an actionable plan. There's also going to be some really fun time in there to connect and interact with the HSN mentoring team, CrossFit HQ, and some of the other speakers and leaders in the industry. So excited for this live event. Lock in your spot today. Pre-sale is actually ending pretty soon, June 7th. So you can grab your ticket and save 50 bucks um, on your ticket today. Click the link in the show notes to get your ticket. Hope to see you in Nashville for the Gym Accelerator Summit. All right, let's dive into this episode on increasing confidence. I think before I start talking about the content, I I have a really great example. and I think a lot of us can feel have felt this way. I remember in 2016, I was asked to go speak at a conference for gym owners on building nutrition coaching programs. I started Healthy Steps Nutrition in 2012. In 2015 is when we started helping gyms. I bet we had helped about 30 gyms at that point implement nutrition coaching programs. I'd been traveling to different CrossFit gyms for the past couple of years, but to go into a room and speak to an audience that I didn't technically know every single thing that they had been through, they were going through. I didn't know because I wasn't a gym owner at that point. Remember Healthy Steps Nutrition started as a nutrition company first, and then we expanded to the CrossFit gym. When I went to that event in 2016, we had already decided, my husband and I, that we were going to open the gym. So I knew that I would be able to go and learn things, hopefully fast track our progress when, when opening and expanding to CrossFit HSN. But to say I felt like an imposter speaking to this group of people on how to build a nutrition coaching program in a gym when I technically didn't own a gym at that point is 100% true. But I did know how to build a nutrition program. We had helped some gyms. So I had a framework that I was pretty confident that I could teach someone and walk away with one thing to build a nutrition coaching program. It's really funny to think about the process from 2016 to now. Um, Speaking at live events is probably one of my favorite things to do. We committed this year to travel at least once a month to go to CrossFit summits, international conferences, to go and speak to these these gym owners and coaches to prioritize nutrition. I walk into these rooms in a very different position than when I did back in 2016 because we have more reps, we have more practice, but I can promise you it didn't just happen overnight and it didn't happen by accident. 
And I think so many times as leaders or coaches, we can get caught into the rut where we're not investing in ourselves and we're not putting us in in a position to stretch. Maybe (laughs) this is another great example. Maybe when you opened up your gym and you had all these intentions of of helping people, but you had this feeling of, is anyone going to walk through the door? Is anyone going to sign up for my program? Or maybe when you started your nutrition coaching program, you're like, am I actually going to be able to help people? Is this going to work? I can tell you as a, as a parent, I think we think this all the time. Am I doing the right thing? You know, in all of these examples, I don't think there's, there's not a perfect answer of like, there's only one way to do this thing. But the truth is, is if we're confident, we're going to be able to show through and shine through to the people that we're working with to help them feel confident and then probably put more effort into what they're doing. When I think about increasing confidence as a coach, it really comes down to a few different things because the truth is, is there's so many specifically around nutrition. There's so many different nutrition online courses out there. Every single CrossFit summit that I speak at, at least three people guaranteed, at least three gym owners will come up to me and say, Nicole, I did this course, that course, PN, all these courses, but I still don't know how to deliver a professional nutrition coaching program. I'm, I'm helping people, but it's a more of an informal conversation. And it's definitely different between my coaches and you definitely, you need systems. But the truth is, is information is not the same as implementation or application. We can consume a lot of knowledge, but if we're not applying it and using it, we're never going to increase confidence. I can read a million books on nutrition, but that's not going to translate me being a confident nutrition coach. I might have a lot of knowledge, but ultimately it comes down to comes down to reps and systems and and things to help build confidence. I think we all have room to improve to help increase our confidence as as a leader. So, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I've personally done um, that has really helped me be able to increase confidence. And I'm I'm sure it will be able to help you too, no matter what position you're in. You know, the first thing is we need to surround ourselves with people who are a few steps ahead of us. You know, you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And if you think about those five people, We should have people in that circle, in that inner circle, who are a few steps ahead and can help us move in the direction of a specific goal that we want. For instance, if I'm trying to save money, if I'm trying to dial in my financial plan, I probably need to hire a financial planner or get someone a little bit closer to me to help me with that, to fast track my progress. If I'm trying to become a better leader, I'm going to seek out a mentor to help me in leadership and help me with feedback and having tough conversations and feeling more confident. You know, it's one of the reasons why we started working with Tim Arnold as a team. I I hired him to um, do a, a staff retreat for our staff last year before our live event. And then he spoke at that of he spoke at the the 2022 HSN Live Workshop, which has since translated into the Gym Accelerator Summit. And what he taught our team allowed us to be more effective leaders and work with each other in a better capacity and not be scared to to have feedback or give feedback, have tough conversations. And I think that's something that that inhibits a lot of people from growing and taking the next step because if we're not communicating clearly. And we're too scared to provide feedback, you're gonna, you know, not level up and and provide the exceptional service that you want to. Tim Arnold is coming back to the Gym Accelerator Summit um, in 2023, our event in July. He's hosting two sessions. Um, he wrote a book called Lead with And, and I, I think it's a great book. I'll put the the link in the show notes, but he wrote a book called Lead with And talking about healthy tensions. How do we prioritize ourselves? and prioritize others. The amount of people that I see, gym owners that I see that are burnt out and struggling, it's because we 
we neglect ourselves and pour so much into our, our people, which we need to pour into our people, but we can't do that at the neglect of ourselves. We'll burn out. He's talking about this, this level of sustainability, how to have sustainability so that we can ultimately do what we want to do in life and, and feel fulfilled doing it. He's also doing a session on feedback, providing feedback and giving giving feedback and receiving feedback, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, so my challenge for you to think about is who, who are the people that you're surrounding yourself on a regular basis to help level you up? You know, if you're a nutrition coach, who are you surrounding yourself with other like-minded nutrition coaches? Are you in a network? Are you connecting with people that are a few steps ahead of you so that you don't have to figure it out on your own? That's why HSN mentoring is this to help gym owners not reinvent the wheel, but also to, to help coaches increase confidence. Because again, no matter how many books you read, that doesn't mean you're a confident nutrition coach. I think, think about that. And if you don't have people, if you don't have a network, then consider investing in one. HSN Mentoring, would I would love to help you if you're looking to add this nutrition piece of the puzzle. The second thing is, I think so many times we have this idea of wanting to deliver something absolutely perfect and it paralyzes us from actually getting started. You know, we're never an expert the first day we try something, right? But sometimes we let the idea of perfectionism cripple us from taking action. And I would challenge you to do it scared, right? Like Get started, build momentum, and learn from your from your mistakes. There's a quote um, by Brene Brown that I think is is really good, and I I think it, it's the epitome of not letting other people's thoughts uh, cripple you from taking action. And she says, "If you're not in the arena, getting your ass kicked on occasion, I am not interested in or open to your feedback." There are a million cheap seats in the world today filled with people who will never be brave enough with their own lives, but will spend every ounce of energy they have hurling advice and judgment at those of us who are trying to dare greatly. Their only contributions are criticism and fear-mongering. If you're criticizing, criticizing from a place where you're not also putting yourself on the line. I'm not interested in your feedback. I'm curious if lack of confidence sometimes is scared of what people might say. I think ultimately we have to, to increase confidence, we have to get in the arena. We have to practice. We hired a dietitian um, recently, and she had been doing a little bit of private practice, but not a ton. Uh, she has the knowledge. She's a, a great dietitian, an amazing dietitian. And I remember when we first hired her, I was like, hey, I want you to work with this diabetic patient. She had all the knowledge, all the skills to work with this patient. She's like, oh, are you sure I'm ready for this? I'm like, yes, you are ready. You know what to do. I'm here to help you. So I'm here to be your backup and your support. Guess what? She killed it. She was able to educate that person. That person went from an uncontrolled A1C where their blood sugar was all over the place to absolutely controlled and, and really empowered because they understood. And, and that dietitian was a perfect fit. But I think sometimes we we don't have that per person sometimes pushing us. Um, and ultimately, we stop ourselves from doing really, really great things. So my challenge to you is what are you letting perfectionism get in, getting in the way of you accomplishing? What are you letting the idea of perfectionism? I can't put this out yet. It's not perfect. What is that inhibiting you to do? In HSN mentoring, a lot of our gym owners are wanting to venture into employee wellness. Some of them have done an amazing job. And others are, are really wanting to get, get into it. And 
I think sometimes they're held back. They've got all the tools. They know they've got the confidence. They've worked with their individual clients. They know what to do. They know how to do it. They've got the system. They've got the blueprint. But sometimes the idea of like stepping into something new is scary and it it holds us back from doing all that we could accomplish. So if you're an HSM mentoring listening, (laughs) client listening to this, and you've been wanting to do employment wellness, maybe I'm talking to you. Uh, But I would just say, Stop letting the idea of perfection cripple you and start just taking action one step at a time. And the third thing that I think can help you increase confidence is asking for feedback and then tinkering the service or the coaching experience, the business model that that you are providing. At HSN Mentoring, whenever a gym leaves HSN, I personally talk to them. I want to know how we can do better. I want to know every single gym owner is prompted to book a call with us. Do I talk to all of them? Not every single one, but they're all prompted. I've, I've talked to a lot of them, and I've been doing this since we launched the program. I can say wholeheartedly that the things that we've done to improve the program, how this program has evolved is largely in part of those tough conversations, right? Like what, obviously you're leaving, I I can't help you now, but what could I have done better to help the people that are are coming behind you and paving the way? No, it's one of the reasons why we restructured the initial investment for HSN mentoring to now include two coaches. Because what I've seen so many times is a gym owner gets a program, a nutrition program up and running, but it's only revolving around one person. And for whatever reason, that person leaves, moves, life happens, whatever the case may be. And then this program doesn't have a person to fulfill it. And sometimes when you're doing something by yourself in a business, it can feel like you're on an island versus working in a team. You you inspire each other. You lift each other up. You have a, a, a wider lens because of different viewpoints, different past experiences uh, to help level up your program. So now the initial investment includes the owner plus two coaches. Typically an owner will go through the training with one coach, get it up and running, and then have another coach. um, My recommendation, add them within three to six months to help support the nutrition program so that you're not 100% reliant on one person. I think this is a, a really important piece of the puzzle that As an owner, we need to be talking to our clients. I don't love the idea of sending out surveys uh, to our members. We don't do that. But I think having individual conversations is really powerful to hear, hey, what are we doing really well? When you think of, of what's going on, like what are we doing really well? We need to double down on that, right? Like that's our that's our secret power. And then what are some areas that you see that I'm not seeing that we could improve on? I think it it goes to your members, but also to your staff too. Like they're, especially if you're an owner that's stepped away from coaching all of the classes, they probably see something that you don't see. So asking for feedback, tinkering and tweaking the program. Now, what I will say with tinkering and tweaking programs is some people are really adverse to change and some people really lean into change. So over communicating why you are making changes is so valuable to ensure everyone's on the same page uh, with the changes that, that you do make. So, you know, when you think about the feedback piece, really, really important to ask, you know, it's one of the reasons why we do coach evaluations at HSN mentoring. Why do we do coach evaluation? That's the last step of the training. Why do we do that? Because I want to know that our coaches are meeting a standard. I also want those coaches to know, hey, these are the things that you're doing really well. And these are the things that you could lean into and improve upon to better your coaching experience. Because ultimately, if you have a really good coaching experience, your length of engagement is going to go up with your nutrition clients. You're going to make a greater impact. They're going to see better results. And and ultimately, you're going to be more fulfilled because your clients are doing awesome and you're making money from it. So it's a win-win there. As a business owner, or if you are a nutrition program manager, director, our job, especially as a business owner, our job is to provide clarity on where we are headed, what we are doing to get there, and why it is important. There's so much noise in a business. One of the things that I learned from one of my mentors, Michael Hyatt, was this idea around the big three. Every year, pick three big initiatives that you want to accomplish 
and then filter all of your information from that. And it makes it so easy to not get distracted by bright and shiny objects. But as a business owner, you have to be super clear with where you are headed, why you are going there and what you are doing to get there. And this really goes to all aspects, like overall business, but then also each program. Hey, what is the point of this program? Why are we doing it? What are the things, what are the metrics that we need to accomplish when executing this program, right? With nutrition, our goal is to help people transform their lives. There's so much misinformation about nutrition out there. People need something that's simple. They need a coach to keep them accountable and they need a more holistic framework to make the meaningful change. It's not just about the food that they eat. It's about how they're managing stress, who's supporting them beyond the coach. It's about how they're prioritizing sleep and how they understand how sleep impacts what they eat, how what they eat impacts what they, how they sleep and daily movement in the support system and the lifestyle piece. Like it's all a circle and all of these things influence each other. Why are we doing nutrition? Because ultimately we want to make a greater impact in our clients' lives. And I know I can say with 1000% conviction that when you combine nutrition, fitness, accountability, our clients are going to see better results. And when we use a holistic framework, you are able to make such a greater impact. If you're struggling to get your staff on board, your team on board, I would venture to say maybe you haven't been clear with where you are headed, what your North Star is, and most importantly, how they fit in to that piece of the puzzle. There was a a survey done last year in 2022 on workplace and CEOs, and the survey stated that workplace communication statistics show that 86% of employees and executives cite the lack of effective communication and collaboration is the main cause of workplace failure. I would venture to say that it's also one of the main causes of employee turnover. People want to feel seen, heard, and valued. And if you're not ensuring that they feel that way, why would they stay on your team? The grass might be greener on the other side. And if you're thinking that, maybe you need to water your own grass, right? Let's lean into it. Let's have a clear vision. So going back to what is our goal here? If you're looking to increase confidence, surround yourself with people who are a few steps ahead of you. Stop letting perfectionism get in the way. Start taking action one step at a time and ask for feedback. Ask for feedback. Again, not a huge fan of like big surveys, but individual conversations, asking people, um, especially like make a list of your best clients. Hey, who are the clients that if you could replicate those 10, like who are those people? They make you the happiest. They're the most bought in. They're most engaged with your, your business, your membership. To ha- have coffee with them, meet with them, maybe meet them over Zoom, have a conversation with them. So ultimately, we're all here because we want to make a huge impact in the world. We all want to transform lives. In order to do that, we need to feel confident. We need to surround ourselves with other people because as the tide rises, we're all going to get better, right? If we're all working together, we're all going to be able to make a greater impact together. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got some ideas to help you increase confidence that Gym Accelerator Summit is a really great opportunity to connect with people who are bringing in ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month for nutrition in their gyms. People who've done employee wellness, who are doing employee wellness, who have partnerships with healthcare professionals, coaches who've been doing this for a really long time, who are confident and and have a really great length of engagement length of engagement of 18 plus months with nutrition clients. If you're looking to level up your nutrition business, your fitness business, if you're looking to get connected with other gym owners who are paving the way, prioritizing health inside of your gym, I would love for you to join us for the Gym Accelerator Summit, Nashville, Tennessee, July 13th to the 15th. Hope you enjoyed this podcast episode and we'll see you back next week.